It's usually, usually you have this strategy show up on your test. 7x cubed plus um, 3x squared over x. So this one, uh, you have variable over variable. When people are first learning calculus, they have a habit of always trying to bring things up. I mean, in theory you could do that, but it's just harder and it's typically not a good idea. In this case, it'll work, right? But there is a more elegant and a more useful way uh, to simplify this. Um, whenever you have a monomial on the bottom, so one term and two terms here, you can break this up and simplify it. So watch this. So you can write this as 7x cubed over x. Okay, then plus, and then again here, 3x squared over x. This is an uncomfortable thing for people to do because when, from the beginning of our lives, like when we're taught to add, like when you have like 1 fifth plus 2 fifths, you do 1 plus 2 and you get 3, right? But no one ever does this in math. No one ever does. Ooh, let's go backwards, just because, like, it's fun. Like, you don't do that in other classes, right? That's essentially what we're doing here, right? We're going from here to here. It's a step that we don't normally do. So we're going from here, and we're, and we're breaking it up. It's weird, right? So this is still, oh, is this F, or is this F prime now still? F, it's F. We're still simplifying, right? We're still simplifying. So these cancel, so we get 7 x squared plus 3x plus 3x. Yeah, better marker. Yeah? Do you know to put the f of x but then at the end put the f prime? That's, that's okay. It's pretty bad. But I mean, okay. it's better to have like really good structure. Like really show the work. It makes it, you should always be really clean. Like, yeah. It's better to have it. I might let it go, but you, you'll want to have it because, yeah, it's worth it. So now we're ready to take the derivative. So it's the f prime of x. So this should be an easy derivative, right? Uh, 14x, 14x plus 3. That's it. That's it. Yeah? So is this way better than like just like factoring out the x in the numerator? That would have worked in this case also. Very good, uh, Luke. Um, that would have worked also. Um, I didn't think about that. But that would have worked. So Luke is saying you could have just factored out an x in the numerator. That would have worked as well. And actually would have made it easier, right? So Luke's way, again, is easier. So my, my, my ways are the hard ways. Um, so Luke's method is to do this. So the method of Luke. So Luke's way. Boom. Right? Much faster. And then you just get... And then you take the derivative. 